Good morning. I have something for you from Thailand. Sunshine, come in, come here. Okay, here you go. Bit of sunshine, warm sunshine. And this is yellow to symbolize the sunshine. And this is blue to symbolize the color of the sea. And I did think about it before I wore this. Because somebody mentioned why you're wearing black all the time. Black doesn't suit you. Okay, I'm not black for my lovely audience because I do everything to make you happy. Woo, that goes against the rules. But hey, this is what it is. I make you happy, you make me happy, I make you happy back, and then you make me more happy. Everybody is happy, blah, 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 happy, happy, happy. The topic for today is balance. Balance is all around us. In nature, we have day and night. We have hot and cold. We have black and white. And we have male and female. We have dominant and submissive. There is always yin and yang. Right? And... We should strive for balance in our little universe. And by our little universe, I call, I mean, you, your body. This is your little universe. You have your own heart, your own digestion tract. You have everything. You are independent. You can exist on your own. It means you are a universe. In Lena theory. But okay, you can argue with it. Doesn't matter. Not the point. Point is balance. If you hold an important position at work, you have people obeying you, you have power. When you come back home, what do you want? You want somebody to be above you. You want balance. You want somebody to take over and control you. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, not that simple, but simplified. So we need balance in our spirit, in our mind, and in our body. How do we balance our mind? We want knowledge and busy life, and then we want a rest. It's all the opposites, and the opposites should always be there. You can't have too much of one. You need the other. You need to fill the gap. And our bodies, how do we take care of the balance in our bodies? By creating symmetry and by striving for symmetry. When right is too much to the right and there isn't enough left, it creates disbalance. And any disbalance cannot be good. No extremes. We always stay in the middle. We stay in our neutral position. By neutral position, I mean grey field. The field between the white and the black. The hot and the cold. Don't lean to one side for too long. You can take a cold shower and go in the hot sun, but you wouldn't want to take a cold shower and go into the snow, right? Right. Okay, bodies, 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 bodies. And I love to talk about your bodies because I think we neglect our bodies. You don't neglect your work, you don't neglect your family. Well, sometimes we do. But we neglect our bodies quite often. Why do I say this? Because I look outside on the beach with all the European tourists and I see that they definitely do neglect their bodies because they've been too busy taking care of their kids, taking care of their work, their house and whatever else to their attention of themselves. And if nobody really cares about us, and nobody really does, I mean your relatives are not brainwashing you every day, you should exercise, you should do this, you should do that, please do it, please do it, please do it, they just accept you the way you are, but I don't, in some parts I do, but in some parts when I know I can give you a little push to make you do some positive things and some, bring some positive changes into your life, I'm not going to sit still. I'm going to brainwash you every day. And that's why you come to me, to be brainwashed. Brainwashed, but in a good way, right? Okay. We agree to that. A volunteer, brainwashy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. It's a new title. B-R. Hmm. B-R-E, brain machine. Okay, B-R-W-E. Enough. Look at the way you sit. Freeze and look at the way you sit. Is it symmetrical? If you look at one side, is it exactly the same as the other? No. We always sit to one side. We lean to the right. Our right leg is over the left. And our left arm is relaxed. What happens? 
What happens the next time? Will it be this the next time? Unlikely. It will be this again. Why? Because this is where the habit is taking us. If you have kids that you care about, young kids, go into the room, go into their room when they're doing their homework and have a look at the way they sit and make sure that they sit straight and symmetrical and explain to them without scolding them why it is very very important because the balance in your hips um, you know, the, your hips support the spine and if your hips are out of balance to one side if you ride like that all the time your spine will also go slightly to one side that will create problems in the future not huge problems if it's not extreme but why why do we want problems? We don't. So if you have kids, please put them in the right posture from childhood. Give them good habits by helping them control their posture at the time of family dinner or at the time they do their homework. And tell them kindly, nicely, making sense that when they go to school, do not sit like that at a desk with your shoulders down and back curved. It's good to sit straight. First it looks better, then you develop, while you're still growing, you develop in the right way. Your right muscles are engaged and it is much easier to change when you're young, when you're little, when you're still growing. And at the age of 20 or 30 or 50, it is really difficult to change because we are already a victim of our habits. And that is sad, but still we can fight against the habits. Why? Because we want balance. And there isn't an age when you should give up on your life and say, I'm too old for this and I'm too old for that. You are not too old, you are just slow. And if you decide to do gymnastics, and I started really late in life, I mean, who starts doing, doing the bridge pose when they're 30? Your body is not flexible anymore. But if that is something that you want to do, why say no to yourself? Just take it easy, don't push yourself too much, believe that you can do it and, and um, your body will believe that you can do it as well. Now grab your hands like this, look at your thumbs, what thumb is above, what thumb is at the top. Relax your hands, grab it again same form. Now change them. Change them into this unnatural awkward position. Does this feel awkward? This is not how it should feel. This is your habit. This is imbalance. Now what else can I do? Cross your arms. Cross your arms. Right on top. Cross your arms again. Right on top. Now do it the other way around. Oh, this is, this is awkward. This is what I mean by imbalance and by striving towards balance. You bring balance into your body, into your life by doing something which you naturally wouldn't do, which, is, which feels awkward and feels uncomfortable. But it pays off, it brings results and it brings changes. So next time you are standing there listening to somebody, leaning on your right leg with your arms crossed like this, you are consciously going to do this. Lean on your left leg, cross your arms the other way. And when next time you find yourself and your friends are sitting on the sofa doing this, you are going to control your position by changing to this. And this is going to be your new habit, going against the habit, your own habit, going against the previous rules that you have set for yourself, the previous disbalance rules. You are going to stretch this side more than this side. This seems a lot easier than this. This just feels awkward. When you sit down on the floor or on the sofa with the legs to the side, this feels a lot easier than this. Try it. It just, it is the way it is. And if it's not with every position that one feels awkward than the other, it is with some. Now stand in front of the mirror. Today, when you do your teeth in the evening, 
take something straight, like a book or something large and straight. Hold it, hold it so it's parallel to the bottom part of the mirror and align it with your shoulders and check if your shoulders are on the same line or a little bit off. And with most of us, you'll find that one shoulder is slightly higher than the other because when we write, we write this way. When we use the mouse, our position is like this. We lift the right shoulder up. What can we do? We are right-handed, or most of us are left-handed people. The same way to the left. But what can we do to balance ourselves? We can't start writing with our left hand and start using the mouse with our left hand. No, we can't. And this is not what I'm asking you to do. But what I am asking you to do is next time you go shopping and you carry the bag and you naturally pick up the bag with your stronger hand, change it. Change it into the left hand. Yes, it will feel awkward because this hand is neglected by you. This arm is weaker, naturally. But it shouldn't be like that. We should be symmetrical. We should be balanced. Why do dead people have symmetrical faces? Because they relax their muscles. And beautiful faces are symmetrical. But try to lift your eyebrows. Now try to lift your right eyebrow, now try to lift your left eyebrow separately. You can't do that, and this is a lot easier to lift. As much as I try, this side is weaker, so it creates this balance. With age, the face will not look symmetrical. And for men, it doesn't really matter, but you do want to create a good impression and you are born with your face, but if your face is symmetrical, you create a better impression because people find symmetrical things beautiful. And this is also good for yourself to, to exercise different muscles. You know, there's face yoga, you can hold one eyebrow and try to lift the other one. And if you do it for a month, this muscle will get as strong as this muscle. And there are so many muscles in your face. So, of course, we are not too symmetrical. With the mouth, I noticed a few months ago when I talked in the videos, it was to one side, the mouth. When I was smiling, it's like that. Or like this, I can't remember. But anyway, this is not the way it should be. I don't want to be like that. And I started to consciously think about how I could speak symmetrically. And I think it's getting better. <laughs> But still, there is a way, there is, there is a way to um, improve it, right? Symmetry. Homework. I never let you go without your homework. Now, when you sit, when you stand, when you're in a meeting, when you are peeling an apple in the kitchen, or cutting a cucumber with a meat, Notice the way you stand. Be conscious of your body. When you stand, put your feet together. Your feet should not be like this or like this. It shouldn't be this. Look at your back. Feel your back. Is your back straight? You could be doing some good to your body by putting your feet together, holding an imaginary pencil with your butt cheeks, nice and tight, knees together, nice and strong, thighs. And you are still doing the work that you should be doing. Be it preparing food or, I don't know, sorting out some, something on the shelves. It is not something that you require a lot of brain activity for, so you can be sharing it with your little exercise pattern, routine. Right? So when you stand, when you're waiting for something, when you're listening to something, when you're watching something, remember what I told you today. Think about your posture. And with your loved one, with your wife, with your son, with your daughter, when you see them eating, when you see them writing something, when you see them sitting watching TV for hours, look at their posture. Is that doing them any good in the long run? And if you correct other people nicely, kindly and understandingly, 
they will thank you at some stage in their life. They will say, Dad, remember 10 years ago you used to tell me you used to tell me to keep my shoulders straight and now I have this really nice posture when my friends are all like this. And a lot of girls have this sort of teenage kind of sluggish posture. Why? Because they start to develop breasts and they're really shy of like something growing in their body. So they go like this, curved inwards, and it doesn't look pretty. And then later, it is a habit, and you still hold your shoulders like that, and it doesn't look good. Right? Okay, dismissed. Don't forget your homework. Be conscious of your body. Be conscious of your posture and the posture of other people.